welcome back to Gapy's Garden. Today I wanted to show you my lavender. This is a silver mist variety and it's an English variety. And you can see the foliage is very silver. It's probably the most silver um, colored variety there is, which is kind of rare. So you know it's ready to harvest your lavender when the buds are just starting to open. So you can see um, this one has some buds open and a lot of them are closed. So as soon as you start noticing them start to open, you want to harvest them right away because they start opening pretty fast. So yesterday when I looked at these, there was just a few that had started to open, but now today there's quite a bit more. So I'm going to go ahead and harvest these uh, today. And then next to that I have another variety called Phenomenal, and this is an English-French hybrid. And this one is not as far along. You can see those are mostly closed. There are only, let's see, I think I saw some back here. So here's here's one here that's just got a few that are just starting to open. So this one's also ready to harvest. Tomorrow we'll probably see a lot more of them opening up. And then I've got another one of the silver mists over here. And then let me show you one more variety that I have back here. This one is called Intrigue and it's a, a greener variety and I'm not seeing there's one that's just starting to open over here but most of these are closed so they can probably take another few days before those are harvested and then next to that I have a Spanish lavender. I don't harvest these. They're not, there's not as much oils and stuff in the Spanish variety so I tend not to use that one for anything but I after I harvest them I let them dry air dry and then I use them for making soaps and lotions so let's go back here and get some of these harvested So this is how it looks after trimming it off and you want to leave a little bit of green so you don't want to go down too far where it starts turning to brown. So you want to leave a little bit of green on the top and that way it'll continue growing. If you cut it down too far then it might not grow back. And then here's the pile that I got. So I'll go ahead and put these in bunches and tie them together and then I'll hang these to dry inside in a nice cool dark place. So to prepare them for drying I'm going to put them into bundles. So we'll just take a nice handful here and I'm going to trim off the bottom part that has all these leaves and stuff on there. So I want to take all those off and we'll just put those in the compost. Okay. And we'll take our string and tie it across the bottom. And that's all we need to do. I'm up here in the bedroom and I've got a sheet on the ground so that any particles and dried buds and stuff that fall off will go onto there instead of the carpet. I went ahead and, and harvested some of both varieties. This here is the Phenomenal and then this is the silver, Silvery Mist. So I'm going to go ahead and hang these up and I have, I'm actually using some photography gear. This is a tripod. And then I've also got, well actually that's a light stand here. And then on this side I've got a tripod. And then I've just got a metal bar that's going across. So that's what I'm going to hang it on. You can use anything you want. You could use a 2x4 or 
you know, whatever. So let's go ahead and get these hung up. I just put a string between the two loops that are on, on here and I'm just gonna tie a knot on the top. That's all there is to it. If you know any fancy knots that would work for this, feel free to use it, but I just use a regular bow tie knot and that seems to work just fine. All right, we got them all hung up. You can see that some are taller than the others. Those are the phenomenal. They have much longer stems than the, the silver mist variety. So we'll just let them sit in here for a few weeks until they are completely dry. And you can see I already made a little bit of a mess on the sheet, so it's definitely a good idea to put that down. And as they dry, they'll also become more brittle and will start falling onto the sheet. So now that the lavender has been drying for several weeks, it should be good and dry and ready for storing. So I'm going to be taking the buds off of the stalks and get them stored away. This part is a little bit time consuming, um, but what I usually do is I just strip just like that and then put them into a, a box for now. Sometimes they don't come off very easily, so you just have to kind of crumble them, and that works. And you can really smell the lavender when you take them off here. Smells really good. If you want, you can try and do a bunch at once if you don't have a lot of time. And all you need to do is kind of rub it in your hands like this. And that kind of gets a lot of the, the stuff off. It might make a little bit more of a mess, but that's a quicker way to do it if you don't have a lot of time to spend on this. And since I have a lot, I'm probably going to go ahead and do it that way. So just get, go ahead and grab a bunch and then just, just rub it. You might not get every single little piece, but it's definitely a time saver to do a lot at once like that. And then these are just going to go into compost, or you can probably make smudge sticks out of these if you want. That might work. I might try that on a few. Alright, so we got one bunch done, and I'm going to go ahead and do the rest, and we'll see how much we get. We got all of the phenomenal variety done. Um, doing it the fast way isn't as efficient because you'll get a lot of larger pieces in here. So you might have to just sift through and take some of those out. It's still a lot faster than doing them one by one, which is what I did last year and it took a really long time. So after I get them all off of the stalks, what I like to do is store them in a glass container um, in an airtight lid. I'm going to use a funnel to try and avoid making too big of a mess. Okay, we had just enough to fit one quart jar. I'm going to put that on the lid and keep it in a nice dark location and it should stay nice and fresh. Thanks for watching and I'll talk to you guys again soon.